Ronnie James just popped off the bench. Out of bounds, along with LeBron. History tonight, the first father-son duo to play together in an NBA game. The Jameses made history last night, but unfortunately for them, they were not the highlight of the night. The Boston Celtics look like they can repeat as champions this year, and in this video, we're going to cover some key points of how they started off this year firing on all cylinders. Stay tuned with this episode from our Coach's Vault. What's up, everyone? DJ Sackman here. Thank you for checking out our YouTube. We really hope you enjoy our videos. In a brief moment, we'll get back to this video. But I just wanted to remind you that we have our Coaches Academy. So if you hit the link under this video, you can get immediate access to all of our courses, all of our playbooks, and our community. We have some of the top coaches in the world inside of this community and taking our courses. So if that is you, if you're a coach looking to expand your knowledge, looking to expand your network, hit the link on this video and we feel like your coaches academy can really help you out let's get it all right before we go over all the topics we're going to cover today let's break down the very first play because it's already genius they're going to get drew holiday in this pick and roll and roll him to the rim now that might not seem smart however notice what it does to cat it's going to freeze him in the paint for a second which allows Al Horford to sprint up into a screen and arrive without him, forcing Cat to be in drop coverage instead of up to the touch, and Tatum can walk into a wide open three. Just a brilliant play design. Now, what we're gonna talk about today, their screening and how their screening is elite. We'll talk about how their spacing puts the defense in terrible positions. We'll talk about how the Celtics defense really makes all the difference in the world. And we're gonna talk about how the Celtics can get to their spots on a regular basis. And we're gonna give you a drill from DJ Sackman on how you can get to yours as well. Now let's start off with their screening. There are a couple of different things that we're gonna cover here. And first and foremost, notice how when Drew Holiday sets this screen, all he's doing is just touching him. He's letting the man know that he's there and it allows the ball handler to operate. Now we already talked about how the roll holds Cat down here. This is the big key right here. Al Horford is going to arrive without his man. He's sprinting into it. That's a major key because now the defense, the help defense is out of position. Horns is a popular tactic around the world. That's where these two men come up the screen. But notice how the Celtics do it. They get shoulder to shoulder and pin this man in so he cannot get out of those screens. As opposed to a more traditional setting where they set those screens a little bit wider and now you might need multiple screens to get the ball handler open. Not that either tactic is right or wrong, it's just another look that the Celtics run and one that has proven to be successful so far. But again, another major key is that they're setting screens that are actually making contact and it's freeing people up. And that's a major key to their success. They're freeing up their best players because they're creating that contact and using multiple screens to allow their ball handlers space to work. And that leads us to the Celtics spacing, which is absolutely unbelievable and it has been since last year. Notice that when White catches the ball, they have their best two scores spacing the floor well out wide. So he's able to get this paint touch and get a bucket. Notice what happens here again when they get a paint touch. They throw it into the paint right here. They have White sit down in the paint to force Jalen Brunson to tag him, which means when they kick this out to the wing, Brunson is forced into a long closeout, which means it's an easy one more to the corner for a knockdown three. Their spacing just absolutely torched the Knicks last night and it helped them get easy shots, whether that be through paint touches off of drives or being able to swing the ball around the perimeter, which eventually finds another wide open three because of the spacing on the court. From a defensive perspective, Boston's numbers were off the charts. You're gonna notice that they had six steals and 11 turnovers, as opposed to the Knicks only having two steals and three turnovers. And these are things that you can implement as an individual. Notice how they're jumping into the paint, jumping into a help position early and often, cutting off the ball handler, and they're making sure that their teammate does not get beat. So this has multiple parts to it. One, it's anticipation. Two, it's that aggression and being there and having your hands active. And lastly, it also has to do with the Knicks spacing. Notice that as they get this paint touch, the spacing on the perimeter is so tight that there's no space to throw the ball out. That was just a trend for the Knicks and you can notice how late they are in the shot clock here. And because their spacing isn't great, it leads to another turnover. But my personal favorite was Jalen Brown's eight second call absolutely love this play and we're going to break down the small nuances that go into this first and foremost it's a lot of it has to do with effort and him having some pride in wanting to get this call secondly you're going to notice 
that Drew Holiday is what we like to refer to as the monster, the man who's in help defense. He can't play this kind of pressure defense and feel that aggressive unless that monster is there to help. Notice where Drew is. He's there to help even if he has to switch. But my favorite part, listen to what Jalen Brown had to say about it. I told you I was going to get one. I told you I was going to get one. So that immediately tells us that the Celtics are bought in on the defensive end and they're going to force turnovers, which is going to prove to be very dangerous. And that leads us to them getting to their spots. Check out this play by Jason Tatum. Most people, when they come off of this screen, they're trying to get this ball downhill to the basket. But if you notice, there are two people in this line. So there's no sense of driving into two people. Not that he can't score there because he can, but instead he dribbles into what we call blue ocean or open space onto the court to get an easier, more efficient shot. Let's throw it over to DJ so he can show you how to work on that. Right now in our mid-range segment, we are focused on getting into fades. Now, if you're a little bit younger, you don't necessarily have to fade too much. I just want you to feel that quick stop off two dribbles and then being able to essentially recline slightly back into your shot. Remember, a lot of times in the mid-range, if you're a more advanced player, you gotta be able to stop and recline backwards. So all I wanna do for this segment is freestyle, play the game, mix up my movements. When I'm ready to take off, I'm driving. Right, left, right, left, going left. And as I stop, I'm stepping one, two, and I'm reclining back slightly. There's multiple ways to do that. Just focus on getting here. Then you're gonna start to feel it and understand what to do with your feet. Same thing going right, we're freestyling, we're playing the game. That footwork is left, right, left, right, and now I'm reclining back. The pickup is on the last step, like we talk about. So we're picking up on the left foot going left, the right foot going right. Let's get to it. That's an essential skill for you to use when you're trying to score in space and get into that blue ocean. We really hope you enjoyed today's video breakdown. Now, don't forget, if you're a player and you're trying to improve your skills, all you have to do is head over to www.hoopstudy.com and you can access all of our academies. You can click on the link below or again, go to www.hoopstudy.com. And don't forget, coaches, we got you covered as well. You can go and get access to our Coaches Vault, which has all of our programs and our live masterclasses.